Coffee culture of Zagreb is something you read about in travel guides, locals brag about it, and everyone wants to see what it's really about. It's a unique blend of different historical influences that not only shaped the country as it is today, but also the way people drink coffee here. Uh, Croatians uh, drink so much coffee because it's kind of social habit. So it's not about the coffee, it's about hanging with other people. Matija Hrkač started his own specialty coffee company not long ago in Zagreb. Nowadays it's present not only in the capital but all around the country, offering carefully selected coffee from all over the world, as he thinks people are open to a new kind of routine drinking specialty coffee. So I would say we have really interesting and unique coffee culture. Still it's dominant espresso in the bars outside, but at home it's Turkish coffee, so people are enjoying both ways. Drinking espresso is Turkish, so it means much slower, but still at home I would say the Turkish coffee is dominant. Even though Croatia has a long coffee tradition, Mattia thought that people will be open to a new kind of routine. He tried to offer that in Kogito Cafe. Kogito really fit really well since the beginning of like five years ago, so yeah, I would say that we hit the nice niche and we are giving people the right amount of fun with coffee that they need. For some, the passion for coffee can be so strong that it brings them to the other side of the world. This is exactly what happened to Paul, who is originally from Costa Rica and is now a roaster at Cogito Coffee in Zagreb. Uh, the owner of Cogito Coffee visited the farm I was living in and it was at the right time for me to just simply decide to change. Uh, I was there out of pure passion for coffee and uh, I was staying in this coffee farm to learn about the processing method of coffee. Europe is a place that invites all types of coffee. That means you can drink a Costa Rican coffee in the morning, a Kenyan one after lunch and Ethiopian in the evening. Despite the endless options that are already available, Paul still thinks that Zagreb is perfect for the coffee business. It's nice to see in Zagreb little specialty coffee shops that are growing compared to other more developed nations because it's such a young sort of market that allows for a lot of exciting coffees to be tasted. So yeah, people, people see coffee culture as a way of hanging out, chilling with friends, and then coffee is kind of, you know, a normal thing. Especially in Croatia, coffee is an important part of socializing and it is where everything gets done. It's where friends meet, where business is made. It's how favors are asked and returned.